Wishes Family Travel and I'm here today to talk with you about the travel documents that will come to you about three to four weeks prior to your Disney Cruise Line vacation. Your travel documents will come in a little spiral bound notebook. This, as you can see, is a Marvel Day at Sea sailing and when we open it up, the first thing we'll find in this first pocket are our luggage tags. There will be two tags for each guest and they will have all of the information about your sailing, your ship, your stateroom, and the guest name. Now if you are the lead guest, your name will be on top and it might be printed just below. If you are not the lead guest, the lead guest's name will be on top followed by the secondary guest names. So each guest will have two luggage tags and they are perforated so that you can put one on each of your checked luggage. And when we turn it over, we are asked to remove this little portion so that we have a sticky part. And we will just slide that through the handle of our bag and stick the two ends together. And that way the porters will know which stateroom to bring the luggage to. Now a couple of notes about the porters. When you arrive at the port, porters will be there ready to assist you with your luggage. They will take your checked luggage to your stateroom for you. This will arrive anywhere from about one o'clock in the afternoon until possibly even five or six o'clock in the evening. And that's why it is so important for you to take a carry-on bag that will have all of the items you may need for the day. For example, your sunscreen, a swimsuit, any medications, and of course, your camera. So moving on through our little cruise notebook, a couple of other things I wanted to point out to you. There are vacation checklists in here, some things for you to remember. Embarkation information about what you'll need to bring for your identification, the address of the port so that you can give that to your driver, the sailing details, any flight information that you have included with your registration. And then a vacation summary will have uh, a summary of your port adventures and anything that you have booked online. Uh, we've got here a Sea Trek helmet dive, we've got parasailing, we've got uh, brunch at Palo Reserved, a mixology class, and even a couple of character meet and greets. And so all of those will be listed in your booklet as well. You've got your sailing itinerary that will let you know which port you're going to be at each day as a reminder. And then another thing I wanted to highlight for you is this ship contact information. You can see on here that uh, we're asked to cut these little cards out. There are three of them and these are for you to leave with either a friend or a family member at home in case, heaven forbid, an emergency should happen, this will have contact information so that uh, they can get a hold of you. So leave that with someone at home. Again, we've got a few little terms and conditions in here. And then ground transfers, if you have added those to your package, that information will be here. And finally, we have directions to the port from different destinations around the area like the airport and such. So that is a highlight of your Disney Cruise Line travel documents. If I can help you create a magical Disney Cruise vacation for your family, please send me an email at sarahmc at wishesfamilytravel.com. I look forward to working with you.